Okay, um, in this next video, what we're going to be doing is showing the next uh, MAPC. <clears throat> One thing I did um, to, uh, in the in the meantime, to, I didn't want to actually take up too much time, is I went ahead and scaled the um, axis one. I changed it from a, uh, a linear axis to a rotary axis, and scaled it to roll over to um, 360 degrees, so we don't have to add a homing feature in here. Um, that kind of helps out, you know, as far as that goes, and also decrease the speed of the, um, right here, of the virtual axis, again, to help us with that. Um, <clears throat> so just, um, you know, just note that those are two things that I did. And um, if you haven't watched videos one through four, uh, please stop right now and watch those videos. Again, this is um, going to be pretty useless if you haven't watched those videos. Um, if you have, we'll go ahead and pick up. Um, so this is going to be adding the second uh, MAPC. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, uh, again, we want to make sure we are we stay in pattern with our, our state machine. And this will be, of course, equal to 4. <coughs> we want to make sure that our velocity is running. So paste that in there. And we're going to come in and throw our second um, MAPC. So our second MAPC, uh, again, we'll come back and throw that right here. <coughs> what we want to do um, is actually have this as a pending one. So we're going to throw in um, the same aspects right here. This is going to be controlled by the virtual aspect, or uh, virtual axis, right? Um, we're going to use the next uh, cam profile and again our direction is still going to be zero our cam profile or our instruction our cam profile that we made um, we're going to actually um, name this two so we'll come in and uh, delete that and then come in and name this cam profile two paste and two and then again we'll we'll throw in uh, some attributes let's say 30 again um, that way there's some dimension to it and the scaling is obviously we're going to stay with the one-to-one -one right now and the execution mode is going to be once <coughs> the execution schedule is pending this one is very important that this one is pending um, the the lock position. The lock position is the end position of or thereof after the um, position of the last cam. <coughs> so we'll just say 111 um, and we'll start there for now. I'm not saying that that's a definite but the reference um, again is the um, command and this is going to be a forward only. Now one thing that needs to happen here is we need to come in here and add a couple different states. So one would be coming in here saying that this instruction has finished. Right? So one we'll use the PC a bit on that and then we're going to move back into a four or back into a three on that one because we want to actually uh, repeat this process. We want it, it, to, it to continuously be repeating. The next we're going to do is we're going to come in and throw in a pending status. So we need to know if, if axis one is already in action or not. <clears throat> so throw it in alphabetical order up here and come down and find the pending status. And we just go to until we find the pending status. So I believe it is um, the easier thing to do would be to come into monitor and go into finding it's at the, just about at the bottom of the tag database. And you'll see uh, cam pending status. So grab that tag and then take it over here 
and then paste it in there and then that should handle that make sure that it's in the opposite state and then as it's in the opposite state um, that will make sure that it doesn't work so what we'll do in the, the next stage is throw in <clears throat> a tracking system basically so we'll say that the the cam is active so second cam active and then basically we'll have that as a latch and then we'll also say that it's latched as well so so we won't index that more than once also up here what we'll do is we'll throw in an unlatch so we'll use this as an unlatch Well, basically we can uh, let's undo that basically we'll copy this tag and bring it up here paste it here so therefore <clears throat> in in a pending status like that you want to make sure that when you're doing one you don't repeat so if this actually um, comes into state four it'll sit here and as long as it's pending it'll sit there and repeat unless you have something to track where it's at so um, as far as that goes uh, you see it's actually um, on right now now to build this cam we need to go offline and so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that we'll go offline and we'll come back and we have to pick up where we left off so this would be to um, 111 so we'll pick up where we left off and then we'll just keep on from there and just add um, just another several points of you know data as far as that goes and even that point will go 150 this point will go 160 um, and just just keep on um, <clears throat> adding more points until we get to a point where we will just go uh, 200 and then we'll go to 10 actually let's go to 20 that's fine and then we'll put in our um, again we'll apply close we want to put in our uh, slave points so again we don't want to have it do anything we we're, we're not doing so we want to actually continue this down to, to where we want to do so the first point would be like uh, we'll, we'll pick this up from where it, it was that way it knows so we'll just we'll, we'll copy this control and we'll come in here and paste it in here <clears throat> and that way it knows where it's at so now we'll go from here and then we'll just say uh, 96 and then we'll start heading back down um, and then we'll go 50 um, 40 and we're just throwing the points till we draw it so we'll go come back and actually draw this out a little bit better so um we'll just again we're putting in points of data um, let's put in 15 10 uh, 5 and put apply okay and then come back and we can open it up again we'll change these to cubic so that we can see them a lot better and um, there's you know there's two points of under control in these so we'll throw this in cubic okay and then that way we can see our cam and now we just draw it however we want to and make sure that it's a nice smooth transition So we want to make sure that the cam is a nice smooth transition to what we're trying to do. And then we'll actually bring this back up a little bit so that it's uh, easier to obtain. We want a nice smooth transition right here. So we'll go ahead and apply that. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and run this uh, cam. So what we're going to do is it's going to 
come in and it's going to run this first cam it's going to index as soon as it does that it's going to throw this into a uh, a four but it's going to stay in pending it's going to wait until the the first cam is done it's going to then it's going to take over um then after it takes over it's going to track where it's at and then come back and as soon as it process finishes then a process completes and it's going to it's going to re-index to the next one or to the first cam again so the um, the way the process works is this is immediate and this is pending so and i'll show you this so we'll download and after we download, we'll actually, um, you'll see it a lot better in the trend. <clears throat> and this is, this is kind of what goes and, and ha happens when you're actually um, blending a PCAM, or position cam. So uh, unlike blending a time cam, it's, just, it's basically the same thing, but slightly different. So we'll come down here, uh, the motion group. I had to be synced okay so it did so now we're in two we'll cut servo on and we got it on now and what we'll do is we'll cut the pcam on and go in and cut the um, we'll actually change the velocity uh, let's change this to 10 so when we start our virtual we actually slowed it down Okay, so it's doing the first cam, and it's doing the second cam. So if we actually go in here and watch it, it's coming in and doing the first cam, and then doing the second cam. So we'll, we'll see it doing the cam profile itself. Um, it is best sometimes to go ahead and zero these things so that they work accordingly because it would look a lot different. Um, but the purpose of what we're doing is what you can see is as it goes into now four that it's latched in and then when it gets done the process complete happens and then it will go to a three. And then as it goes to a three, it indexes again. And as soon as it goes to an IP right here, then it comes to four, and then this happens and it's pending. And as this is running, it's not pending anymore, so it drops out. And when it goes to a process complete, it actually goes and throws this in, back into a state of three. So what we can do is stop the cam. And after this, we have to let it completely stop. And then what we'll do is we'll actually, because it's in a weird position right now, is we'll actually go in and zero the, uh, we'll, we'll home the axis and zero it out. So now the axis is at home and we'll start it again. So now it's actually going and doing that profile, and you should see the profile um, that it we actually commanded it to do. And then watch it pick up and run back down. So that would be the actual positions that we actually seen it in. And that was the rollover right there. So it's actually doing the cam profile and then going back down and that's based upon what's happening on the the uh, virtual axis is in red so it's running to 1 and 360 and then the um, obviously the axis one is in the blue and in the the green and we'll come back and on the next video and what we'll do is we'll make the cam profile a little bit different so it's 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 easier to see and then we'll actually, you know, indicate and, and show this a little bit more in depth. I know these videos, we're trying to keep the videos down. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll go ahead and shut this off right now.
and that way it'll go ahead and finish out and we'll come back on like I said on the next video and we'll make it a little bit more uh, controlled and and show you how these things blend a little bit more so again uh, thank you for being part of it and thank you for the support and we'll carry on and pick up on the, the very last video should clear everything up all right thanks